Fingers eight, crossed. Eight, Fingers seven, crossed. Yeah. Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, here we go. Robots fight. Here, Mr. Pickles fire up. Yeah, and the the weapon on Sea Dragon's roar seems to be dead. Mr. Pickles has successfully crossed the cage. It looks like one of those wheels that it lost a little earlier today, maybe uh, not 100% functional. Taking some big hits to the face right now. Oh, Mr. Pickles wow. has successfully flipped Sea Dragon's roar on its head and is eating into its bottom plates. Still going. Oh. No, no, top plates, my goodness. And I'm seeing bits of blue. That is not what you oh, want to boy. see. All right, we got the two bots are still kind of locked up. Oh, there we go. Mr. Pickles is doing a great job of staying squared up with Sea Dragon's Roar. Sea so so Dragon's Roar, is, they're making use of their time here. At least it's a little driving practice right now. It's um, not looking too good for them, though. We've seen some sluggish driving so far from uh, the team's robots today. Oh, and there's a wheel. There's a wheel from Sea Dragon's Roar. They're down to three wheels now with 90 seconds left in this match. You can see absolute concentration from uh, from the bad crew, from AKA the Cybears. Sixty seconds left in this fight, and you can hear it spinning. Nope. Yeah, no, that that egg beater uh, on Mr. Pickles is still going. Could be a overheating issue. Yeah, it does seem like it's very slowly spinning down. I mean, you have to dump you have to dump a, a ton of energy into this type of weapon, you know, and and we see it. It happens often that you have to sometimes uh, let it breathe for. You know, 15, 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah. 30 seconds left here. Mr. Pickles, what's happened here? Do you have drive? Things are slow on Mr. Pickles. I think they're going to be able to limp across the finish line, though. Yeah. That speed that we typically see from the bad crew is just not here at Mr. Pickles. 10 seconds left here in this fight. Sea Dragons were down to three wheels and no weapon. Two, one. That's oh, there the end we of go. the match. Turn yeah. off your weapon, Mr. Pickles, and drive to the door. So they did kind of demonstrate that their weapon was still functional at the end of that match, just to give a little bit of a heads up to the judges. This one will go to the judges. What do you think, Chris? Is this the fast one? Oh my I think goodness, Diana Tarlson, you're wearing a Scorpios-themed uh, crown here. I love it. Diana, let's start with you. <laughs> Your thoughts on this fight. <laughs> sea Dragon's Roar versus Mr. Pickles. Uh, I'm going to have to give it to Mr. Pickles. It looked like Sea Dragon's Roar was having some drive issues and wasn't really able to make any controlled um, purposeful movement toward his opponent. So I'm going to give it to Mr. Pickles. All right, we've got one vote for Mr. Pickles. Jack, your thoughts on this fight? Sea Dragon's Roar versus Mr. Pickles. I'm also going to give it to Mr. Pickles. It was the only bot by the end that was really able to make any kind of engagement, and it still had the most function by the end. So yeah, go for Mr. Pickles. All right, we've got two votes for Mr. Pickles. Will this be a unanimous judge's decision? Don Dorfler. Three for Pickles. All right, we've got three for Mr. Pickles. Um, I, I want to thank William for coming out uh, here from Long Island, and I hope to see uh, 